it's time to make a quick recap. So till this point, what we have done is we have worked with different methods of HTTP, right? We have worked with uh, get request, we have worked with post, put, and delete. And you can see we have used, we also, we have also used a postman as a tool to send the request to the server. And everything was working fine, right? And we have enjoyed the videos till this point. Now, if you observe the scenario here, what we are doing is, uh, so in, in, in terms of recap, what we are going to do now is, let's try to understand what are the things we have done. So let's, let's do with the get request. So let's say if a user sends a get request and a user's user intention is to fetch all the aliens here, for that we have written this method which returns all the aliens. Now as you can see we have get aliens method. Now this method will be called whenever you request for the aliens. So this path annotation will map your request, right? So when you request for aliens, this will map it and you can return all the aliens. But again, in which format you're returning them? So we are returning them in a list format. Now, uh, you might be thinking, can you, can you really send a list format to the user? Because user will be a client, right? It may be a browser, it may be an Android application. So, of course, we have to convert this Java object into some format which is understandable with all the application. And that's where XML and JSON comes into picture. Okay, but the question arises, how will it convert your, uh, J, uh, your object into JSON format? So, we don't have to worry about that. Now, if you remember, in your libraries, we have added one of the dependency. Okay, in, instead of opening this, we should be opening our uh, XML, or not this XML, the POM XML file. Now in this XML, we have seen there are some dependencies using which you can convert. And luckily, uh, we have Jersey here. Now Jersey says, hey user, or hey programmer, you just have to give the object, it is my job to convert that object into XML format. But then what if you want JSON? So for JSON, we need, uh, one, we need one more dependency, which is Moxie, right? Again, we can also use uh, JSON, we can use Jackson, if you love it. But Jesse says, hey, why you have to add extra libraries when I can provide you those libraries? So we are using Jersey library here, but you have a choice, right? We can also choose between JSON and Jackson, and also uh, this one, which is Moxie. Okay, so we have added these dependencies using which you can convert your object into either XML or JSON. It's just that when you return, you have to mention what it produces. Now, your application says, hey, I can produce a JSON data or I can produce a XML data. Now, depend upon what a user requests for. If a user is requesting for XML, you will return XML. If a, if a user is requesting for JSON, you will return JSON, right? Now that is called as content negotiation. So you are negotiating a content with the user and that is perfectly fine. So that is about your get request, right? Now we also need a post request. Uh, where is that? This is, here's a post request. So let's say if you want to create a new alien. In fact, what we have also done is we have connected this thing with database, right? So if you create a new alien, that alien will be stored in the database. And to do that, we have used a repository here. And in this, we have done with all the configuration. Again, uh, you could have used data source here. If you have a different implementation for database, you can do that. Our application is, so this code, this file here is not concerned about what about database code you have written there. You can also fake it. In fact, if you remember the first few videos, we were faking that we have a database, right? We were using some dummy data, dummy storage, but now we, are, we actually have MySQL there, right? Everything was working. You know, we have a post request. We can use get request. We can use put and delete. So we have to do the same thing, it's just that you have to change this annotation from put, uh, delete, we have a uh, post. And we also mentioned path. Now why we need a path? We, are, we have also already specified path here, right? Now to get that link, example, if I go to my postman, and you can see we have aliens here, right? If I say I want one particular alien, or if I want an alien to be updated, or if I want alien to be deleted, let's say I want to delete this one here too. We just have to go here, just say uh, delete request and say send, it will be deleting. It will, del it will get deleted, right? That's how it works. So everything was working. So why, I mean, what next we are going to do? See, we have Jersey as one of the implementations, right? And if you are working for a company, there's a chance that you might be implementing Jersey or maybe some other implementation. Now, one of my favorite implementation for RESTful web services is uh, Spring, Spring REST. Because Spring Framework is a new framework which provides you lots of features, right? If you implement Spring MVC, 
Spring Code. It's an awesome, it's an, it's an awesome framework to work with. So what we are going to do now is we will be working with the same stuff, the same get request, same post request, put delete, all the same thing with database of course, but with the help of REST, the Spring REST, right? So we'll start with Spring REST and let's try, let's also add the database feature, but that will be with the help of Hibernate or maybe some JBA, right? So let's make this more exciting. Let's also add database and all those stuff. But then before going for all those things, there are some prerequisites. The first prerequisite you, you need to know is Spring Core. Again, it's not that difficult. You can just search my channel or you can go, go to description area and find uh, the uh, find the videos for Spring Core. Those things we need, we, you need, and that's it. Everything else will I will teach you how step. I will teach you everything step by step. In fact, if you, even if you don't know Spring Core, that's fine because when I explain you about those Spring Core features while uh, in Spring REST, you you will understand you will understand all those things. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Now, we, of course, we are going for Spring Framework, right? The second thing we need is, uh, I'll be using a different IDE. Now, earlier we were using Eclipse, right? Again, you can continue with Eclipse, but then it is always better to use advanced one, especially for Spring Framework. We have STS as a, as a, as a IDE. You can see we have STS here. Uh, STS stands for Spring Tool Suite, which is specially designed for Spring-based applications. Again, you can also use Eclipse here, okay, it's your choice, but then I will go for STS and you can also learn that, right? So why don't you, uh, uh, let's expand our knowledge uh, box and let's also learn STS. Now question arises from where you will download that. Uh, so I will show you the down, uh, uh, okay, let me show you. Uh, if you go to a uh, browser, let's go to, okay, let's go to STS. This is the official, it will take you to the official website of STS, which is here, Spring Tool Suite. You just have to download STS from here. There's option of uh, all versions. You can you can click on this. Uh, if you depend upon which machine you use, it will automatically detect your OS and it will download that particular version for you. You don't have to worry about this. So once you click on this, it will get downloaded. You have to just you just have to unzip it and you can use it. Now if you might be thinking, oh, we are using a new uh, IDE now. We have to learn lots of things. You don't have to worry about that because STS itself is based on Eclipse uh, Eclipse platform. So if you're using STS, internally you are using Eclipse, right? So let's go, let's start with that. In the next video, we'll talk about the first code with Spring REST. So that's it from this video. If you're enjoying my sessions, do let me know in the comment section and do click on that like button if you are really enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching.